Hello, welcome back to another video presented by Acuity PPM, where today I'm going to show you how you can track your portfolio using Acuity PPM software. But before we get started, just want to remind you, subscribe to our channel because we're putting out great content that you don't want to miss that will help you better manage your portfolio. So with that, let's get started. And I'd like to begin with one of the definitions of portfolio management, which highlights that PPM is a senior leadership discipline that drives strategic execution and maximizes business value delivery. And we can do that through selection and optimization and oversight of all the project investments. But it's important to realize that portfolio management fundamentally is about maximizing business value. And that value could be external to customers, it could be internal to other stakeholders within our company. But the portfolio is focused on maximizing value. Portfolio management also provides answers to key questions that senior leaders need answered. For instance, what are we working on? Real basic, but believe it or not, there's a lot of organizations that do not have clear line of sight to all their project work. There's work going on that they're not aware of, and those projects could potentially be draining the organization of critical resources and budget that could frustrate, potentially frustrate the delivery of our strategy or execution toward our strategy. And those resources are, are working on things that don't move the needle. So tracking our projects in the portfolio is so important. Yes, it's fundamental. Yes, it's basic. But as I like to say, you can't manage what you can't see. So if you don't have line of sight and visibility to your portfolio and all the project work, you can't manage your portfolio. Another key question is where are we investing our people and our money? Okay, so at the same point, we need to know what we're working on and then we need to have some understanding and realization of where we're investing. Are we investing too much in one area, not enough in another area? Portfolio tracking helps provide those answers. And then of course, how are we performing? And you can look at one of our other videos on creating status reports that will provide more information on project performance. But today we'll predominantly focus on those two questions. What are we working on? Where are we investing? So with that, let's take a look at Acuity PPM. And we're gonna focus primarily on the, on the project list. And there's two aspects here. Uh, below, we've got the list of projects. And above, we've got our mini dashboard. We'll talk about some of the enhancements and features of the, the new project grid in a moment. But I always like to start with the, the dashboard at the top. It's one of the best elements of our portfolio tracking software because you get portfolio insights immediately when you get your data into Acuity PPM. You don't have to create separate reports. You don't have to go somewhere else to generate a report. You can get portfolio level analytics and insights right within the project list. And you can work within it and slice and dice the views to get out additional information. Okay, so let's begin. Up in the corner, we can track our project state. This could be, predominantly it's our active projects, but you also get to maintain full visibility and history of completed work, canceled work, projects that are on hold, pending, etc. I'll mention a little bit, it's way better than spreadsheets. If you're managing your portfolio in spreadsheets, Click on the link in the description below to schedule a, a personal demo so you can see Acuity PPM in action so that you can get off of spreadsheets and better manage the portfolio. I've done portfolio management with spreadsheets in the past, even for large organizations, and it takes a lot of effort. And actually, it's a waste of time. Uh, Acuity PPM is better than spreadsheets at helping you manage your portfolio. Okay, one instance, I may have multiple tabs. One tab for active projects, one tab for completed projects, one tab for projects on hold or new ideas. 
every time I want to update or move information around, I've got to make sure all the fields are in alignment. Otherwise, I got to do extra work to fix all the data. Not to mention version control and data integrity if you've got multiple people in the spreadsheet. Okay, that's why having a cloud solution saves your team a lot of time from not having to do busy work and actually either focused on projects or managing the portfolio. So that is one little plug for why QD PPM is better than spreadsheets. So we've got the states. You can have full visibility of all your work. Then, as it relates to the mini dashboard, we've got multiple indicators. The, the first five are custom are out of the box. They're available for you. One of the enhancement requests that we've gotten from a lot of companies is, can I create my own indicators? And the answer is now yes. So you can create your own indicators and get dashboard elements custom for your organization. And we can see that with system. If I want to track IT systems or if I want to track geography or other uh, categorical elements, I can do that now within Acuity PPM. So we're going to start with health and we want to see how many of our projects are red, yellow, and green. Now if we only have count information which is available from the beginning, we get some insight. We can see that in this instance roughly 17% of our portfolio is in red. I can click on this to filter and quickly drill down to see what projects are in a red status. I can do the same thing for which projects are yellow. Very valuable if I want to look at portfolio health along with conducting a status report meeting. In addition to this, if you're tracking your budget, we can also measure this based on cost. And did you notice that once we start measuring the portfolio based on cost, the percentage of red projects actually went up as it is based on cost. So in other words, 34% of our budget is in red status. Based on count, we had five projects that were red. But when we measure it by budget, we can see that 34% of the portfolio is red. So if I see it in this way, I've got to take action because that's not acceptable. So Acuity PPM provides those quick insights to help you take action to better manage your portfolio. So in addition here, we can see that the portfolio budget is about $40 million. We can also change the indicator. So currently at health, Maybe I want to look at category. So in this example, we're using Gartner's Run, Grow, Transform paradigm. How many projects run the business, grow the business, or transform the business? We've got a lot of money or dollars tied up in R&D in this example. So a high percentage of the portfolio is transformational. We could also look at it by strategic objective or strategic goal. Now again, this is very valuable for senior leaders to know how they are allocating. So remember, where are we investing? Looking at our portfolio spend by strategic objective is very insightful because in this case, goal number two only has 10 or 11% of the portfolio budget. Is that too low? If we don't have good insights, we wouldn't know to ask the question, nor would we have the data to answer the question. But Acuity PPM makes it very easy. We could certainly drill down like we did with the red, yellow, and green projects. But the idea here is just to highlight that we get portfolio analytics based on the underlying data in the grid. So we can look at this by department. We could look at it by life cycle, by project phase. And by department, we could see how much of our portfolio we're investing in different areas. You might have multiple. So I can see that so much of the portfolio budget is occupied with R&D. But I'll go back to strategic objective. So down below, 
in terms of accessing the data, we've made it a lot easier. So right off the bat, we've got a search function. You can search for information. If I want to find all the projects associated with data, I can find that. Very useful. We can filter which columns. So we've got all of our columns. We can select and deselect various columns. We can move the columns around. So I can quickly get the views that I need that help me understand the portfolio. Some columns are valuable for some users, others not. But you have far more flexibility, full flexibility now, and you've got, these are your personal settings. What data do you want to see? What order do you want to see it in? Let's say that I, I want a little more real estate. I want to get rid of column or the description column. I can deselect. And very quickly, a little more real estate. For the power users, we can even come in and we can do inline editing. So valuable to save you time. So almost spreadsheet-like, but you get the, the power of cloud, cloud database solution. So I can update key fields right within the grid. I don't have to drill down anymore. I can edit key information right within the grid. So there you have it. It's a quick overview of portfolio tracking using Acuity PPM software. So just as a reminder, if you're interested in learning more, click on the link below to schedule a demo where we can answer all your questions and give you a full view of not only portfolio tracking, but portfolio road mapping, prioritization, and work intake. Thank you, and have a great day.